Have you ever wanted to do something new and adventurous, but you just weren't exactly sure where to start? Well, if you're a woman who wants to spend more time enjoying Arizona's great outdoors, then there's a three-day workshop just for you. It's called Becoming an Outdoors Woman. We just want to get that lady that hangs out in the mall and has never been outside. We want her. We, she just needs to have a little bit of desire to do something she's never had a chance to do. The Becoming an Outdoors Woman program started with a one-day workshop at the University of Wisconsin in 1990. And its objective was to identify the barriers that keep women from participating in outdoor activities and to find ways to address those barriers. One of the major barriers identified was a lack of opportunity for women to learn outdoor skills in a non-threatening, comfortable environment. This led to the development of the first Becoming an Outdoors Woman multi-course weekend workshop in 1991. Affectionately known as Bo, there are now over 80 workshops offered in more than 40 states, several Canadian provinces, and New Zealand. Over 20,000 women participate in Bo events every year. I had come to one before and I come from a city background and I wanted to learn how to do outdoor things and when I come to Bow, I meet young women, old women, married women, single women and it's just a great place to be. Arizona Game and Fish, the Arizona Wildlife Federation and Safari Club International are all supporters of Bow. They assist in offering a wide range of courses to help give women the confidence to take part in whatever level of outdoor recreation they're comfortable with. We offer stuff that to get you comfortable. You know, you could do, um, I'm lost now what? That's actually a class that we do. You're already lost. We're not teaching you how to not get lost. What do you do when you get lost? So there's quite a few classes like that, five or six of them. So you take those uh, and then you come back the next time and you take fishing, geocaching, hiking. And uh, oh, and another one that they like to do is wilderness medicine because they're afraid what happens if I get hurt. So that's a very popular class for the first time. You want to point the rod where you want the lure to go and let it go there. While all of the participants are women over the age of 18, Bo is not a man-free zone. Many of the instructors are men who are experts in their field. I really enjoy taking pe people fishing that have not done it before or have forgotten how much fun it is and giving them a chance to catch a lot of fish. It's, uh, it's not the goal of it to catch fish, but it is to have the experience. And, and the people that come here seem to really enjoy that. This is the eye of the hook. This is where the, um, the, the leader is attached to, to run up to my, my fly rod. This is called the shank of the hook. This is the bend of the hook. And this is the pointy part. <laughs> <laughs> the bow instructors are all volunteers who bring a wealth of experience to the camp, and they all seem to have mastered the formula that makes learning fun. That's gonna make your experience out there when we start playing the serious I'm going to tackle you water games, you're going to beat everybody if you become one with the boat. And that happens with all the instructors. When I first started doing this, I'm like, what is wrong with these instructors? I mean, are they nuts? I mean, they're giving up their time. Nobody gets paid. You know, they're giving up their time. They're giving up their knowledge to teach a bunch of women how to fish or pop a balloon with an arrow. But. I found out and I started writing it, as a matter of fact, I started writing it up. And then I says, you know, when you start writing a story and it grows, it, it came back on me. I'm like, you know what? The instructors are getting as much back, if not more, from the students. And that's what happens. Yeah, it's very cool. These weekends offer over a dozen different classes that participants can sign up for. Everything from backpacking to Dutch oven cooking to hunter education to repelling and much, much more. Look over your shoulder. Awesome. You're almost there. <laughs> She's like, oh. Oh my God. <laughs> I've always heard about it. I've always been an outdoors person, but there seem to be so many more other activities that I've never tried before. Repelling, and I don't know how to use a GPS unit. So the, all these uh, worked into being on the coming to the bow. Evening events that feature wild game tasting are another way to introduce women to something most have never tried before. 
The fact that it's also combined with some wine tasting may make the elk stew seem a little less scary. Arizona coordinator Linda Deitman has been with the program almost since its beginning. No, seems like it though. Uh, I started at the turn of the century. <laughs> 2000 was my first camp here and I came up as a instructor. I did the game taste and I think I taught hunting class and then I just got involved in it and it, what it does is sucks you in because these ladies they want to be here they want to learn and it totally sucks you in and it's so much fun and it's like giving back for me. I mean I've been outdoors my whole life and it's so fun to show these ladies hey our state has so many wonderful opportunities that uh, it's so much fun to share that with them. At the end of the weekend, the objective is not necessarily to turn the women into hunters or anglers, but to allow them to venture into Arizona's great wild places with a new sense of confidence and knowledge to pursue their own outdoor adventures. All right.